A short guy who's sensitive is in deep shit. The average person doesn't understand the transformation that a short guy has to go through in order to live his life in a proper, fulfilling way. Most short-statured people are just resigned to their fate of second or third-class citizenship. You may be ignored, you may be dismissed, you may get less respect if you get any respect at all, you may get less courtesy if you get any courtesy at all. You had to choose a date from these five men. Who would you go for? On first instinct, probably number one. Number one? Number one. Number one. One, 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 number one. It turns out that how important height is to a woman changes as a function of where she is in her menstrual cycle. So uh, depending on whether I am at the maximal point of my fertility or not, I will be more or less attracted to tall men precisely because it is a cue of being a good genetic specimen. Why do women need a guy who's taller than they are? So that they can protect you. I think it's more of like a security thing. I prefer taller men. Somebody that can it's kind like of defend man. you. I him. am man. If you want to take care of a woman today, I think this will go a lot further than having big muscles. I'm Tom Rubin, and I'm short, horny, and pissed. There must be some women who prefer short men. I mean, at the very least, it could be a fetish. There's a fetish for everything, right? Feet, rubber, shit. There's a fetish for shit, but not for short men. There's a midget fetish. I'm too tall for that. <laughs>